A carnival ride initially rotates counterclockwise at two radians per second, but it comes to rest with a constant acceleration over an angular displacement of eight radians. We need to figure out the angular acceleration, and we can answer using a coordinate system where counterclockwise counterclockwise is positive. We can also round our answer to two significant digits. All right, as always, pause the video and first give this one a try. Okay, hopefully you gave this a shot. Now let's see what is happening. You have a carnival ride, so let's try to represent that with some points, images, lines. So we have we have this carnival ride, and it is initially rotating counterclockwise. So it's rotating counterclockwise, but comes to rest with a constant acceleration over an angular displacement of eight radians. So the acceleration, the acceleration must be in the opposite direction, right? This must be the direction of acceleration, which is clockwise. So one thing that we can say <coughs> that the acceleration will really be negative because if counterclockwise is positive, acceleration is in clockwise direction. Only then the ride came to rest, right? So this is positive. Acceleration will be positive, and we know, <coughs> sorry, the angular displacement is eight radians. All right. So let's try to list down all the variables that we know. We know. We know the initial initial angular velocity that is two radians per second, two radians per second. We know the final; it comes to rest. This is zero. We know the angular displacement, delta theta. This really is eight eight radians. We need to figure out angular acceleration. Now we do not know time. Also, we do not know time. We do not know angular acceleration, but we do know these three variables. So if we had to pick up one. Rotational motion equation. What do you think will that be? Try to try to recall that. Or try to figure that out. All right. So ideally, we should pick one which does not have the variable of time because there is no way for us to figure out what time is. We need to figure out alpha, the angular acceleration, but we don't know what time is. So let's go ahead with an equation which doesn't have the variable time, and that one is. This one right here, that is final square initial angular velocity square plus two alpha into delta theta. Now we know this is zero. This right here is zero. This is two square. We need to figure out alpha and delta theta. We know it's eight. So let's rearrange this. Alpha would be minus omega square divided by two into delta theta. And when you place the values, this becomes minus two square divided by two into eight. So this really becomes minus four divided by sixteen, or minus one by four. And when we represent this in decimal forms, this becomes minus zero point two five, minus zero point two five radians per second square. 